All right, Shalom. This is Thawa Judah coming in with another quick lesson. And first and foremost, I'd like to give all glory and praise to Yahweh Bashem, Yahweh Shai Bashem, Rakakadash. Double honors to the elders, Apostle Great Millstone, who preached the word truthfully and sincerely. And Shalom to the Akim that scattered through the four corners of the earth, preaching this word truthfully and sincerely. Shalom to the Akim that's scattered through the four corners of the earth, preaching his word truly and sincerely. I say Shalom. And, you know, I'm coming in with a, a quick lesson. And the title of this uh, lesson is, you know, being a good soldier for Hamashiach, Yahweh Shai. And I'm going to uh, bring the scripture out. This is the book of uh, 2 Timothy, chapter 2, verse 3. And uh, though therefore endure as a hardness, as a good soldier, of Hamashiach Yahweh which is his true name in the ancient Hebrew, the Most High's son, because the Heavenly Father name is uh, Yahweh, and his son is uh, Yahweh Shai, uh, Hamashiach Yahweh Shai, who you equally call Jesus Christ. Yeah, man, so you know, you got a hard endure, a uh, strong fight as a hard soldier for you. Hamashiach, Yahweh Shai, Yahweh Shai, you know, you know, because the Most High, you know, he died for us, he died for the nation of Israel, you know, he was mocked, spit, laughed at, scorned, died on the cross, you know, you know, he went through hell, you know, but he took that burden, you know, he took that heavy, that 100% heavy burden on us, and you know, he died for our sins, he died for the Israelites, you know, even his own people turned his back on him, you know, but, you know, he still died for his nation, though, you know, so, you know, we definitely got to consider that, you know, and think about that, so, you know, I think about that all the time, too, and definitely in the humble, in the humble way, you know, through, uh, through the spirit and through the flesh as well, too. You know, I got to take that into account, you know. I know all the other brothers definitely highly take that into account as well, too, because, you know, uh, Hamashiach Yahweh Shai, you know, the Most High Son, Yah, uh, Yahweh Shai, you know, he died for our sins. He died for the lost sheep of the house of Israel, you know. Now, you know, we're, we're going to go through that same plight like he went through, you know. In order to get to the kingdom, you know, it's not going to be an easy cakewalk, you know. That's why we got to stand boldly and stiffly for the name of Yahweh and his son, Hamashiach Yahweh Shai. And stand and be strong for Yahweh Bashem Yahweh Shai. And mentally and physically, you know. But mostly through spiritually, you know, we got to be definitely be spiritually strong for Hamashiach Yahweh Shai. Stand bold and stiffly continue to push this word, you know, it's like myself, you know, definitely continue to push this word, push forth this word, push forth this true gospel, like I mentioned in my previous video, you know, as the word is being, being brought out through the four points of the earth, you know, as the true service, the men of the Lord, Yahweh Bashim Shai, you know, these so-called Negroes, Latinos, and Native Americans are the Israelites, of the Bible, you are the lost sheep of the house of Israel, you know, the most high, waking up those dry bones, you know, but you know, uh, two-thirds of uh, most high's people still gonna be blind to the truth, if not what's really going on, you know, in the world, you know, they could continue to be on a folly mode, you know, like the scripture says, folly set in great dignity, you know, partying, and BSing and all that, you know, try to uh, continue to do unrighteously, do straight bad stuff, you know, and not coming back to the Holy Scriptures, coming back to your law, statutes, and commandments, coming back to your culture, coming back to know who you really are as an Israelite, as a Hebrew Israelite that make up the 12 tribes of Israel coming back to holy priesthood, coming back as a set apart people, because you know holy is Salakia, because holy means separate, you know, set apart people, 
you know, most I really want us to be a, a holy people, a separate people, a royal priesthood. You know, not people that's doing bad stuff. You know, doing bad stuff to your own people. You know, going around doing crazy stuff. You know, the most I didn't set us like that to be like that. You know, he set us to be a, uh, a holy people, a righteous people. You know, but I'm getting back to the topic. Uh, so I'm going to bring it out again. This is the book of 2 Timothy, chapter 2, verse 3. Therefore, so like it thus, therefore, endure a hardness as a good soldier of Hamashiach Yahushua. You know, as I said before, and I'm going to say it again, you know, continue to push forth to be a good soldier of Hamashiach Yahushua. As I continue to practice and learn and understand more you know, fight these spirits, fight this evil flesh, you know, even though the flesh, the flesh is weak, but we continue to push forth this word, continue to be on the highways and byways, continue to learn more, continue to learn more through these scriptures, continue to learn through our, uh, our high holy days, our customs, the, our language, you know, as the most high given us our culture, our history, you know, our language and all that back, you know, etc. So, you know, as you continue as being in this truth, as the men of the Lord, you know, the true prophets, the servants, the men of the Lord, as I, as you know, as you get this opportunity and humbleness and meekness to the brotherhood, to the elders, apostles, and the brotherhood and the elders in our camp, you know, be that, that brotherly love, you know, respect one another you know I'm definitely continuing to do that as well too for sure because you know uh, you definitely gonna need that in these latter days you know because you know uh, the most high people you know hopefully they can be woken up you know because a lot of things is going on in the world today so you're definitely gonna need this wisdom knowledge and understanding and if you have that opportunity, meekness and humbleness, you know, as the men of the Lord preaching his word, truthfully and sincerely, week in and week out, to prophesy against Mount Sierra, Babylon, and, and the world as well, too. Because, you know, the men of the Lord, they ready for this. They ready for the new kingdom to be established. The kingdom of Israel, Yasharalim. He is the prince of the power, you know what I'm saying? The, which is the men of the Lord, the princes, the princes of, of the Heavenly Father and His Son, Hamashiach, Yahushua, the kings and priests of the Most High, like we are supposed to be, you know? And once the house of David is definitely getting established, it's getting fully established, like the elder Malcolm was saying in his video, you know? Because you definitely got to endure hardness as a good soldier of Hamashiach Yahushua. As I continue to learn that too. Fight these evil spirits. Fight this flesh. Fight off that old man. Fight off that weak man. And fight for the new man. You know, fight for the new body. Fight for pos positivity. You know, fight for a righteous man. Fight for a holy mind, you know. So uh, I'm gonna bring it out once again, cause I, you know, I love the scripture. I know all the Akim love the scripture as well too. I'm not just the only one. <laughs> so Aki, this is the book of Second Timothy, chapter two, verse three. Thou therefore endure hardness as a good soldier of Hamashiach Yahushua. You know, endure of what's coming. Endure what you're going through. Highly endure of all these evil forces and evil spirits and all that negativity. You know, block that out. Bring it in with positivity. You know, in the mind, in the spirit, and in the flesh as well too. So with that, I hope this was edifying. I'll give uh, all praises and glory and double honors too. To Yahweh, Bashem, Yahweh Shai, Bashem, Kakadash. 
Double honors to the elders of Pastor Ray Millstone, who preach the word to us sincerely. Shalom to the Akim that scattered to the four corners of the earth, preaching this word truly and sincerely. And Shalom to the Akim that scattered to the four corners of the earth, that be like unto the speckled bird, preaching this word faithfully, truthfully, and sincerely. And with that, I say Shalom.